Yeah, yeah, get, get Black and yellow on my jersey, yeah The Steelers, we shutting it down King of my city, I'm taking the crown We putting in work without making a sound And we came from the bottom, yeah We got them sick like the flu, uh. What's going on guys? Oh, you got Bubba Bam! Fellas, I think my voice just cracked. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Steelers franchise. These are tough. Coming here after a freaking tough loss in the Super Bowl is difficult, but this is year three. Our team is getting better every single year. I think I've done a really good with actually like just making this team better without doing it, like just making good moves, progressing players, and our team is looking really good. This is our year. Um, one like on this video equals one Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, Bubba M, look on the screen. We have the draft, free agency. So looking at our team, I had most of my players re-signed. I didn't really lose anybody. Carson Strong, if you guys saw in the last video, he got his upgrade um, to become a superstar X Factor, which got him set feet lead. Like Pat, or I'm, I'll probably do Pat past lead elite. I think is what I, I should have it on. But he got his upgrade, which made him an absolute freaking beast. You guys know about Najee Harris. Justin Moss, the kid is unstoppable. He will be a 99 and the best receiver in the league. What a, hey, the Devin Bush people, where are you at? The people who said I shouldn't have done the Devin Bush trade, where are you at? Because I traded up because I wanted Justin Moss, which very well, thanks to one of the comments, may be my new um, gamer tag. Now, our offensive line, we addressed it last year, and it's looking really good, with the exception of our right tackle. Our right tackle, Larry Cooper, is not super good. Our defensive line, we still have the best defensive line in the entire world. Um, where's Cameron Hayward? He retired on us. Yo, oh, punch me in the face. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. I love that guy. I love him. I miss him. He's a, like literally my one of my favorite players on the team. Yo, we are, he is going to be so missed. So in free agency, I want to attack cornerback. I want to get some guys with some better awareness, even though these guys are getting better. And I need a replacement defensive tackle in the draft. So free agency two is in five minutes. Um, I planned this so I'd record before the commissioner advanced it. So as far as our top free agents, Laramaya Tunsil, I really, really, really want. Um, just looking at like tackles, I'd love to get a tackle. And I feel like he could be so good for us. It's hard to say though, because I feel like he's getting an absolute bag. The thing is we have a lot of money. Because we've been smart with our money, we have a lot. I just want to see how much the Titans is overpaying him by. Once we see this, I'll kind of close the door. Yeah, I think we have to close the door. I don't think I can afford to pay him that, unfortunately. Though, do I... And if you're wondering, do I think he's worth it? I, I do. I, I, a big part of me does. It's not that I don't think he's good. I just don't know if he's worth that. Taylor Lewan, there's a lot of good tackles here, though. He's 32. I'm, I just don't think I can rationally, like pay a lineman that much I would rather draft one and play him but at least with Jake Matthews I know I'm getting a good lineman this year and he's okay we're gonna have to draft a tackle I'm, I'm done with it I'm not overpaying I'm not in the business of being stupid and all these guys want way too much money as far as defensive line would love some more depth there Leonard Williams is a little older AJ Espenza See, I just don't know if there's a defensive tackle here that's going to just fit exactly what I want to do. And I, I don't know if there is. Okay, let's check corners because corners are always a good position. Oof. Someone relocated. That's cool. Someone relocated. I don't know who did, but someone did. Gilmore is getting a bag of money at his door. Um, nobody wants Bradbury, which is interesting. I'm not opposed to veterans. Um, Byron Jones, nobody wants. Jonathan Jones, nobody wants. I'm not opposed to a veteran coming in here and just being a beast. Like to me, Byron Jones, that's a, how much does Byron Jones want? Because I would love just a, like another smart corner. One year, five million. I can get him for about 5.7 probably million. I can get him on the team. To me, that's worth it. I, I just see him as a guy, even if he's there for a year, you sign him to a one year deal. You have a 92 speed, 92 Excel corner with 90, with 90 man coverage at a position that we need help on. Um, I like that. Isaiah Rogers is getting a ton of attention. Anyone who's getting too much attention, it's like, you gotta, you gotta really be careful because you could overpay really fast. Fabian Moreau is 30 years old also, but he's another guy with his speed. To me, no one's offered on him. I'm, like, we're a young team, but I'm not opposed to throwing a little bit of money around to bring in some good freaking players. Ashton Davis, he's gonna get a Brinks truck. The fact that he's in free agency is almost criminal. Let's 
Let's throw a little bit of money at him. I love, I, I do like Raekwon Davis. I just, I feel like it's a position that there's there's always a ton of depth in. So I, I think I'd rather just draft it. So we'll see how many of these guys we get. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, boom, bam, fellas, that's good. All of our guys that we offered, TJ Green, Byron Jones, and Moreau, all of them accepted. We had good offers for all of them and we didn't go after the biggest, craziest free agents. We played it smart and I went after more of the guys who I feel like are just good players. Ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, free agency one. Um, I'll be back for the draft. I'm gonna do some scouting right now. Positions of need, defense. I'd like to replace that defensive tackle with one of these guys. Um, there's a lot, like I said, there's tons of depth. So I'm not really worried about it. Like to me, there's so, like one of these guys is gonna fall to me. Uh, and then cornerbacks, the other position. I would love, love, love to bring in. Even though I have Byron Jones, a young corner who can get better for like the long term of this team. And then last, but certainly not least, a receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these scouting points on some of these receivers because I feel like I've under-scouted that position. And like as much as I, I like, I'd like to have two different sets. One size where it's, oh my gosh, there's some steals down here. Oh my goodness, there's some steals. One guy who's like kind of notoriously, like one set of three receivers that are all big like we have. And then one set of three receivers who are all like just super, super crazy athletic um, and fast just to give like my opponents a different look. But I will see you guys at the draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bum, bum, bam, fellas, we are back. I am currently, oh my, I'm currently working. I may for the first time ever be trading for the number one overall pick. I'm waiting to hear from the guy um, who has number one overall pick. I essentially offered him this. Uh, and I'll tell you guys why. Gardner Johnson, I realized, is on his last year. He's going to want to get a Brinks truck. Claypool and my third. All players that are going to want to get paid soon. Um, in exchange for the number one overall pick. I'm waiting. It's The only reason I'm willing to do this is because of the cap thing for Gardner Johnson. I didn't realize his contract. Oh my, that is a freaking Brinks truck. That is a Brinks truck for the number one overall pick. Oh my, I've never got the number one pick. I have never, I except for the football team franchise, ever got the number one freaking picks. Oh my gosh. It's been accepted. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we draft in like four minutes. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys who I'm taking. He's gonna like literally, holy snacks. Oh my gosh! Okay, let's dance. Six foot five, 229 pound receiver from Georgia. Ran a four, four, five. Massive vertical jump. Literally the highest receiver that I have seen in terms of everything in ages. One of the highest graded prospects in the entire draft. I, this dude's gonna change the freaking world. Bam, 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 fellas! Ah, oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Melvin freaking Burris! Oh my gosh! That's why you, hey, I lost a lot for this, okay? I lost a lot. I, I, I really, really, really did. He's ranked number one in true value. I drafted him number one. He is a six foot full five, 229 pound receiver with 94 speed and 94 acceleration. Claypool will be missed. Obviously at safety, I'm gonna miss that guy a lot. But we signed TJ Green in the off season, so I felt like that was pretty good. And our corners got a lot better with Byron Jones. I feel like we're making really, really good moves. Um, we lost a superstar in our defensive line, which is rough, but it is what it is. But we just drafted what I believe, personally, I believe to be the greatest player I've seen in the draft. Literally the next Megatron, Melvin freaking Burris. So at this pick, value-wise, I probably see the most in Ben Richardson, just 6'7", 333 pounds. I don't know, it's tough at this spot, like in terms of just people that I have scouted. We did a good job scouting this year. Um, I could take Dion Stokes. 447 corner. I feel like he'll be there for the next round though. Tackle, we didn't address it um, at all. So I just feel like it's important that I do go get a young tackle. So most likely this pick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, round two, pick number 31. It's not like a glamorous pick, 
but just based on everything I see, it's what we need. It's where we like are are lacking. I'm gonna take a tackle. 71 overall bronze development. Um, so he's not great. Run. Oh my gosh, I don't love his run blockers. Run blockers. He's someone who can get better. He's six foot seven, 333 pounds. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with my last pick here. Ah, uh, I'm in between this Markel Willis. Um, Shaq Richardson looks good. Quinton Langford ran a 4-4-1. Andre Fort ran a 4-4. Think with this pick, I'm going to take Markel Wilkins, cornerback, and cross my fingers. 70 overall, bronze development, 90 speed, 93. So he's not awful, but if I'm being honest, he's not going to play or probably make the roster. But, ah, uh, shoot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, boom, bam, fellas. We're in week number one. I don't believe, I've, I've been trying to hit the guy up. Uh, I don't believe that he is ready to play at this moment, but I'm going to go through all the upgrades. I, it won't affect you guys uh, at all. It literally is just going to affect me and everything. Uh, Melvin Burris, I did change his face. I, I think it looks really sick. He had like the most generic face ever. And I was like, you can't have a number one overall pick with the most generic face ever. What I am about to do now is I am going to essentially go to manage staff and I am going to unveil his development trait. Um, it's 50. It's one thing I like that they did this year. Reveal one hidden dev trait for 50. Melvin Burris. Oh, gosh. Please. Please be a superstar. I, I know for a fact I, I would be completely blown away if you're number three ranked and you're not at least a superstar. X Factor does not really matter to me. I think they progress at pretty much the same thing. Let's go! He's a superstar. Okay, non-next factor. That would have been amazing if he was, but he is an instant off the freaking plane superstar, which is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing for rookie, but it's honestly what you need when you trade as much as I did. You need a superstar for that. Melvin Burris, he's going to be wearing number 84 for us. Um, holy schmoly, I cannot wait to get him on the field. We have lots of upgrades from last season that we got to look at here. Um, Sergio, okay, Justin Moss, let's go. Also, that's gonna be my new, that's gonna be one of my new gamer tags. 89 overall uh, upgrade. Let's go, Justin! Oh my gosh, Justin Ross gets plus one speed, good stuff. Carson, I've been waiting for that from Justin Ross for so long. Carson Strong, he's gonna get a strong arm upgrade and he almost has his next one, which is amazing, which means he's gonna be close, like, he's closer than we realized to having Gunslinger. Like, he's, it's not gonna be, be long. Corey Fulton, who's an absolute beast, with Cameron Hayward retiring, um, he's gonna have to step up. It sucks. Michael Pittman lost his superstar. I may have already told you guys that, but Michael Pittman lost his superstar ability, which was just absolutely freaking heart wrenching. Uh, made me so sad, but it is what it is. Gidry uh, gets an upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade his slot ability. He can't get much faster or better. Um, a lot of people wanted to trade for him, and I was like, absolutely freaking not. Juju Smith Schuster. Sad, I re-signed him, um, and honestly, it, oh, that's a plus one speed for Juju. Oh my gosh, we are the luckiest Madden player on earth. Like, I honestly think we're, I'm the luckiest, oh, the Washington guy uh, just messaged me. Let me ask him. The Washington guy actually just DM'd me as I so we, we may actually be playing right now. And Minka freaking Fitzpatrick gets an upgrade as well. Uh, Minka gets plus four tackle, plus one zone coverage. Holy schmoly, those were some of the best upgrades we've ever had. Getting Justin Moss one was absolutely huge. It's time to set the depth chart for the season though. Um, and kind of just see what we're gonna do. QB, Carson Strong, it's his team. These two positions you've never had to question. I should honestly have signed a running back, a backup for when he's not playing. Receiver, boom. Melvin Burris, like he's, he's the guy. It's gonna be Justin Ross, Melvin Burris and Michael Pittman Jr. Those are the three receivers on this team, I don't care. Now, I didn't realize that I still had Dan Moore, um, and I think he's better than the guy that I drafted, which sucks, because I did like give up a lot to get that rookie, Ben Richardson, but just looking at Dan Moore, I just think he's a way better player, and he's gonna give us better blocks. This is where it gets interesting. Defensive line gets a little bit tougher um, with these people leaving. Now, this DJ Wanham, he's been in the league four years. He's not a bad player. This Dylan McKay is a 77 overall rookie, and I can play him. Um, he is bronze development, but I actually feel like it wouldn't be bad to throw him in there. Jones still in the middle. TJ Watt, 
still over there. At cornerback, this is where it's going to be interesting. I'm going to start Byron Jones. Edmonds is going to be my other kind of user. So I'm going to put TJ Green there, the rookie uh, that we just brought in. And then Minka Fitzpatrick can go there along with um, Terrell Edmonds and TJ Green, which, which make up a really, really good. And then our slot cornerback is going to be um, Gidry. So he's going to be blitzing off the edge. I might switch that. We're going to be smart. We're still a running team, but literally to have Justin Ross and Melvin Burris and to just have a first overall pick. Welcome him to the league with a one-on-one -on -one streak down the field and just say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, Burris has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, Burris has arrived. Oh my gosh, let's go. Oh, he was playing cover too. Oh my gosh. Let's go, Minka! Yo, I totally see why he did that. I totally see why he did that. I'm not even kidding. That was not a bad decision whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna go on a run set. He's in cover three. I'm gonna see how good this kid is. I'm gonna see how good this kid is. I'm gonna see how good he is. Let's go! Oh my gosh! Generational! Literally freaking generational talent. Okay, you know what he's looking for. You know what he's looking for. Go underneath, make the tackle. Yep. Yep. Good pick. Let's go. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Yo, Carson Strong has got bazooka. Let's go, man. Yeah. Car the thing is, Carson Strong, like, I haven't talked that much about him, but Carson Strong is going into what's going to be his breakout year. Like, he had an amazing year last year, but he's going to be even more amazing this season. Oh, my gosh. I got him again. Laser! Let's go! Oh, that's a freebie. Good job, Gidry. Go home, Gidry. Good defense, guys. Good defense. Yo, is he in cover? He's in cover, too. I, I, he's got to get out of cover, too, bro. This is going to be literally ugly. If he stays in cover, too, I'm going to, like, I'm going to throw that every single time. Every stupid time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is... That that one I honestly feel bad about because I don't feel like that was his fault at all. Okay, now he's in cover three. Okay. Do you guys think in cover three... I Like, let's just see what we got here. Let's see the extent of this talent. We still have Justin Moss. I got to get him involved too. But I just want to see the extent of like, okay. How good is this kid that we just got how how good is he that's that's the question i want to answer he played it i'm just gonna go down to michael pittman good job pittman oh blitz coming blitz coming blitz coming just check it down go burris so i just noticed carson strong's release Yo, that's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so here I will take the field goal if it's if it's what's there. But if I have one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, I'm throwing it to him. Oh my gosh! That dude, he's not he's not human. He is not freaking human. Oh my goodness. That's a laser. Guy, I don't think he's as bad. Like, honestly, his stats are horrendous. Oh, that's a laser. Ooh, that's a laser. Good throw. Good pick, Gidry. Good pick, Gidry. I don't want you guys to think that I forgot about Justin Moss. Oh, oh my gosh, good pick. I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh, never underestimate your opponent. No matter what, that's honestly 
a really important thing to know. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. There you go, Justin Moss. See, I just, I just don't want Justin Moss to think that we've forgotten about him. He's still the guy on this team. Justin Ross is still the guy on this squad. But there's just a new, there's a new face in town now. There we go. Nice catch, Burris. Okay, Justin, sit, 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 sit. Good job, Moss. Good job, Justin. I think this is just a blitz. I don't know why his corner just went like that, though. I don't understand why his corner just went like that. Okay, here I'm looking middle of the field to Justin. Oh my gosh! Shoot. Ooh, that's a little bit of a cheap hit by me at the end. Does he have it? I think he does. Operating from the gun. Hall steps away to his left. This is gonna be intercepted. That is one of the most fascinating throws I've ever seen. Like easily, easily, easily one of the more fascinating bizarre decisions. And he can see the game. Hey, I, I, I don't blame him. Um, as long as I will, will the stats and everything else say it. We, we could have legitimately, I think, thrown for a thousand yards in that game. Like, I, I honestly, I think there was, you know, there's a lot of people in this league who threw for 500 week one. We got cut a little short, but we got 319, 14 for 18, six touchdowns. Receiving Melvin Burris had a massive freaking game. Oh my gosh, he went crazy. Uh, and he's the third best receiver after week one. So, like I said, week one, you get a lot of blowouts. A lot of people, like, Chiefs put up 70 on somebody, 42 there, 41. Like, you get a lot of that in week one. Um, but it is what it is. Interception, Gidry got two. Melvin Burris looks absolutely unbelievable. Like, so many people on this team look absolutely unbelievable. Carson Strong... He's pl he played so good, and I think I'm close to another upgrade with him. So I'm going to be like one upgrade away from getting Gunslinger with him, which is unbelievable. Melvin Burris, uh, boom-bam! He gets an upgrade to his deep threat. Just imagine he gets speed, plus one deep route running. It's going to be a lot of deep route running to start, but he's going to upgrade real fast. Okay, we're going to see you guys again. We get Next week, we got the Raiders. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are back here. Holy schmoly, what a first freaking week. You love to see it. Um, we're going up against, I think that is, just face-wise, Brock Purdy. I don't, Carson Strong is about to have another upgrade. I could literally freaking cry right now. Carson, oh my gosh, Carson Strong. You love to freaking see it. Um, he's going to get another upgrade here. One away. So he's probably realistically one big game away from getting Gunslinger. Now that he's a superstar X-Factor, probably two, I would say we're two weeks away from it, but... Even set feet lead is absolutely crazy. He is going to be, I think, he has not won MVP yet. I think if there's any year that he could win MVP, it would be this one. Um, we're going up against the Raiders. I don't know what to expect from this guy. I've never played this guy. He did end up losing his first game. If we look at his roster real quick, we'll see Devontae Adams. So oh, that's Spencer Rattler. That guy's a beast. Yeah. Okay. Darren Waller. Farrell, Max Crosby, okay, Trayvon Mullen, Trayvon Morig, Tyree Gillespie, okay. His team's pretty solid, honestly, he's pretty fast. Um, his quarterback, super, super good, good receivers. Definitely not going to be an easy game, not going to underestimate him whatsoever. Currently, like I said, one of the top player passers in the league, Carson Strong, let's go build on it. Okay, so game number two, I definitely, like, Najee Harris was not involved at all in the first one. And I feel like he's got to get involved. That guy who we played in the first game had an amazing defensive front. So it definitely was a game that favored passing a lot more. But in this one, we are... 
just based on the front, his defensive front, I do feel like I can run the ball. And it's just going to set up Carson Strong. So, got to get Najee Harris going, man. He's still the king. He is still the king on this team. Look at that. He's pinching his line like crazy. I feel like I can get out the gym here. I feel like I can definitely get out the gym. Good run, Harris. Is that a joke? Boom! Bam! Why are people like? I just don't understand why people are. Is there like this new cover two wave? Good job, Harris. Let's go. He's gonna, he's gonna try and shoot this, but like honestly. In, there is no running back in history. I'll even say Derek Henry that is better in these situations than Najee Harris. Seven nothing. Good start to the game. Oh my gosh, that's a laser. That is a laser. Yeah, I like I like the way he runs his offense. Honestly, by motioning, I'm, how I'm going to get rid of this, though, like my adjustment to it is just going to be blitzing him a lot. Like I'm just going to try and get really good outside pressure on that side. I'm not as worried about the other side. Ooh, okay. There goes Jacobs. Okay, good drive, dude. Essentially, I have a short zone if he goes to that out route over there, and then I have a deep zone. Oh, my gosh. So, ugh. Jump everything here. That's the thing. Third down and three, jump everything. Oh my gosh! Yo, you see behind the line? Oh my gosh! Crowd him! Oh my gosh! Two time, soon to be three time, defensive player of the year. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Got him! Bam! Good job, Minka. And instead created a second one. Mm -hmm. Yep, just throw to Eric. Just throw to Ebron. Now on first down, yep. Look at yo Carson Strong. Like his release is like eight to ten times faster than it was before. Like he he's different than he was. He'll drop to throw. Got him. Let's go, Pittman. Good throw, Carson. I just need a little room. If you're going to run cover two with no safeties in the middle, I just need a little room and I can throw that. The nice thing is here, I can see. Oh, my gosh. Good run. Oh, that's good defense. Good defense. This is flood. They're going to try and throw. Oh, good play. Good play, good play. Got him! Oh my gosh! Every once in a while, Minka Fitzpatrick just has a game that could make anyone just like look and be like this guy is the best freaking player in this league and he is having that game right now i don't know why he keeps pressing melvin burris like i just don't understand why anyone would ever feel like that was a good idea like that's melvin burris dude that's that's the future and that, that that's randy moss jr don't press him Oh my gosh, Edmonds. Oh my goodness, Edmonds. Whew. Good stuff. Okay. Should be a... Oh my... Don't quit. Please don't quit, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that guy quit early too. Hopefully week three we can have a better opponent. It just sucks. Like when, when people quit like that, to, to me that that's just late. Like... At least played out a little bit. It just it just ruins my entire stats. It ruins everything, and it's like at least at least play three quarters. That's all I'm complaining about. At least play three quarters. But oh, okay, we got the Eagles next week. Hopefully that's that's a better game. But.
Okay, we'll see that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, fellas, we are in week number three. Initially, there was not even, we got a weekly award. Oh my gosh, yeah, Minka Fitzpatrick. I totally forgot about his game. Initially, there was only supposed to be two games in this video, but because we had two early quits, now there is a rule now, me and the commissioner were talking about it. People have to at least stay to the third quarter. Um, the guy I played obviously didn't know that, so no hate towards him whatsoever. It's just frustrating, but okay. Birmingham! Ah, let's go! That is someone you want to see an upgrade with. Bob, Bob, bam. Awareness, plus one man coverage, good stuff. Okay, Justin Moss. I gotta see it like, he, I can't forget about him. He's the best receiver in the league, future 99 overall. I cannot forget about him. I gotta get him the ball as much as possible. And I plan to do that this game. Um, I've kind of messed up by not having him involved. I already did training now. The next thing that we get to do is we get to start scouting College players. It looks like Demarcus Cotton is the number one player in the draft. Positions of need definitely won't be a receiver. Potentially a tight end because of the fact that we're going to be losing. Um, I don't know for sure if we lose Ebron, but it definitely wouldn't be a terrible decision to start looking. I think defensive line once again. I don't know if I would like consider trading up, but I think D-line is something that's going to be a problem uh, next year. As far as players ready to negotiate, our two biggest ones. Oh my gosh. This is why I traded those guys. Najee wants a deal. Honestly, like Harris, but I, I like to make money during that time. Oh my gosh, that was sassy. Okay, Byron Jones, it. Gidry, Lorenzo. Like we got a lot of guys. Lakin, we got a lot of guys we need to re-sign. Re Najee Harris, I'll pay him a little bit more. I honestly don't mind giving him $7 million. I think he's getting underpaid. We got a media question. What do you got to say? Najee Harris in the final year of his contract and has turned down your contract offer to this point. So how, how far apart do you think that we are? I honestly don't. Honestly, we like to think that we're not too far apart, so we we'll haven't found the negotiation. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think we're far apart from Najee Harris. He's going to be a stealer. He knows, virtually he knows how much he needs us. So... Going up against the Eagles, they are currently 2-0. Uh, let's go kind of see what we're going up against here. Um, Fletcher Cox, J.K. Dobbins, Jalen Hurts, J.K. Dobbins, Smith. He's got a good team. Not a lot of like crazy development. Like He hasn't made any of his players amazing, but he's done a pretty good job. It's not going to be an easy game as far as passing stats um, and receiving stats. Melvin Burris is the second best receiver in the league with 398 yards. Carson Strong is up there. He's doing all right. Eight touchdowns to one interception, but he's only thrown the ball 26 times. Harris has only had a few carries because people keep quitting. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to, just the fact that he has no yards this season, I'd love to get Najee Harris going. Go for a run. Najee! Oh my gosh. Is there anything more satisfying than Najee Harris juking someone out and then just running them over like right next to each other like boom you juke out number 27 okay yo and this like this offense is so freaking good i love him he's got way too many people in there go naji he's still here man he's still here if, if you forgot about him that's just your problem that's your problem if you're gonna play these kind of defenses where you're super super in tight I'm going to run the ball all game, and I'm going to do it successfully, and you're going to be very, very, very annoyed. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is not really the situation I want to be in. Go! Oh, good job, Burris! Follow him. Jalen boxed. Corey Fulton. That's the greatest play I've ever seen. Oh, that's infield fly. Batters out is fair, and it was fair. Go Birmingham. Good stuff. Okay. Yo, our defense this season is not messing around. It is really freaking annoying. The reason why people struggle against me is I can, like, explain it pretty quick. You can't really run against my defensive line out of shotgun, so I'm able to just play the pass. That's such a laser. Oh my gosh. 
I trust him. Not a lot of people do, but I freaking trust that guy with my life. Don't you dare forget about Michael Pittman. He may be the third receiver right now on this squad, but if you forget him, that, that's your problem. Carson Strong, easy laser, got him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the Philly special. That's, hey, that was cool. They go play action with Hurts. Throw it, Jalen. Throw it, Jalen. Oh, that's a laser. Play action. Here's Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. Oh, wow, that's a laser. Okay, third and goal. This is the Philly special again. I don't know if you think you can run garbage like this on me here. Yeah, he's that was fake Philly. I was literally about to run off that side and literally punch him in the face. Yo, I see you go, Burris. That guy's different. Good freaking play, Melvin. Good play. Laser! Oh my gosh! Does anyone remember Carson Strong's rookie year? Does anyone remember? 68 overall. Yo, I messed up. Yo, I messed up. Too much confidence in Minka. Too much confidence in Minka. Good play. See, if he keeps, see how he keeps dropping that left end? That gives me a literally, completely free release. It's the small things like that that can just make, like, make your defense suck so much. Here, I'm just going to throw this to Pittman. Like, the fact that he has that. Yeah. Carson Strong, Eric Ebron. Ba-bam, fellas. Yo, that's a ridiculous, that's RPO. That, that's like, this guy's offense is very much like, I've had a lot of success with Matt, but he's kind of figuring it out. Like, his offense is very weird. Like, look at this. Okay, here, the only thing I'm leaving open is in the middle. And I will probably go guard that with Gidry if I feel like I need to. Try and throw for it with Hurts. That's great defense. Oh my gosh. This dude's got nine lives. He really does. The RPO. Good job, Fulton! I love you, Fulton! That guy drops back. Just throw it to Najee Harris. He's got a lot of yards. Oh my gosh! Crown him! The one thing, you may not like me, but you can't deny that I have created the greatest player that you've ever seen in a CFM. I like that about this year. One of my favorite things about this year is like, Will Disley one on one against Byron Jones. He's gonna punch him in the face. There's gotta be an RPO glitch. It's gotta be. That's that was so cool. I'm actually a fan of that was one of the coolest plays I've ever seen. Okay, right now he thinks he's figured something out with this cover two, but he, little does he know that I know that he thinks he's figured something out with this cover two. Justin Moss. Usually people who are getting dotted up will just like literally go through like they're like oh cover two cover three cover four it's Not working. So the play before I saw he was in cover two Put two streaks on one side and then laugh as you throw a touchdown You're gonna get hit though Minka like he in man coverage, 
He's unbelievable. Let's see. Are they going to double team him? Carson Strong, baby. Carson Strong. Who does it better? GG's, man. GG's. Hey, honestly, this guy's not even that bad of a play. I just think we are rolling right now. Carson Strong having abilities. It's like the Aaron Rodgers franchise. When I had a quarterback with some abilities, I did some pretty crazy things. He went for 468 uh, or 464 with eight touchdowns. Harris had, Burris had 151. Pittman had 115. Ross had 89. We went absolutely freaking dumb stupid in this game. Burris. Burris is the best player on the team. Um, not the best player on the team. Best, Statistically, the best receiver I've ever seen is what I'm trying to get. Like, a lit, I, it's just with his speed, he's pretty well met calf. And he just runs around the field so gracefully. It's not even funny. 3-0, we look great. League-wise, um, Carson Strong is the leading passer, but we have played more games than everybody at this point. There's only been a few other people who have played this game this week. 16 touchdowns to one interception, um, which is pretty freaking amazing. Receiving-wise, the number one receiver, second best receiver is Melvin Burris with nine touchdowns. He's been on an absolute freaking tear. But Carson Strong, he has yet to win MVP. And I think this could very well be his year to go and win that. Um, if you look at his awards, he was in the Pro Bowl, but he's never won a big major award. I think this could be his year. Third year out of Nevada. Hoo -ah, ladies and gentlemen, kill the like button for more. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're doing a huge favor and subscribe right now. Also, I have a second channel where I post NHL, MLB, NBA content. Link is down below. Go check that out. That would mean the world to me. Road to 200K on that channel. Thank you guys once again. My Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TBarrettYT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.